tutorial starts with a song, <laughs> but it's only a few seconds long. <laughs> Let's get started with animation. Hello folks, today we'll talk about a single command which is very amusing, <laughs> I guess. You need to be under FX because it's a special effects thing. Here you have the N world with a nuclear solver which provides gravity when you invoke one of these commands here. And we go for N hair and make selected curves dynamic. And we'll use the option box which I just open here and put it to the side because now we need to cr create a curve. And I go to one of the orthogonal windows and I use you see the curves and surfaces tab here and I just draw a curve like this. And in order to get rid of this pen I just click anywhere for example on this arrow here. Now I want to make this selected curve dynamic uh, in order to create sort of hairy things with it. And uh, in the default settings you create NURBS curves from this NURBS curve. That means you'll get a dynamic curve. But what we'll do instead, we create paint effects. And I apply this. Nothing changes really other than, uh, well, a little bit. We have this icon here and when we run the simulation we have a quite a hairy structure here. I extend the frame range a bit so we see a little bit more. Basically that's all this tutorial is about but we want to create some hair with it. Here is the hair system and in the attribute editor you have a big section here under clump and hair space. First of all we need more hair. You don't really see this here until you raise the clump width from zero to a higher amount. Now you see quite nice and shiny hair. Uh, you can play with these things for example with a thinning so it's getting thinner down there which is quite nice and what I always like to do is I add a little curl like this. So the curl is only in the middle at the beginning and uh, this is the beginning and this is the end of that curve. I can change this with the... it's actually quite nice like this. Now I run the simulation. I think this is so nice that I show you a similar curve in different renderings using the graphics card for rendering. That's why we see a, quite a few pieces of grain in the images but um, it renders extremely fast and uh, I could crank up the anti-aliasing values but I left them to 3. I'll show you where that is. Um, under the Arnold renderer you have the anti-aliasing and when you change the rendering system from CPU to GPU uh, you have uh, only one option all the others are grayed out and you if you crank this up from 3 to 10 it will s still be in this case a huge increase in speed for rendering a whole sequence of um, files. Anyway the colors are under shading so in my example I chose some kind of blue uh, actually, I chose a ramp for this, so I clicked here, etc. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.